Hey guys, this is Peter again with Carries.net, and in this video we are going to be reviewing Message Ease keyboard for the Android operating system. Uh, in front of you we have a Verizon Samsung Fascinate running Android 2.1, which we're going to be showing you the keyboard on. And as always, in the first couple minutes we're going to run over the basic features. In the last part of the video we're going to run over the advanced settings. And if you want to know more about this video or the keyboard article comparison article, you can head out to carries.net or you can go to our YouTube channel carries.net and see all the videos there. Also look for a description, also look to the description for a link to the article where you can view all 12 keyboards, um, see their QR codes of where to download them and kind of read a short description of what they're like. So let's jump into Message Ease, which is actually one of the most recently released keyboards that we are currently reviewing. Um, once you download it through the market, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your settings, your language and keyboard, and you're just going to want to make sure that there is a green tick mark next to the message ease um, icon and display right there. So let's go back now into our messaging program. Okay, to get to message ease at first, you long press on your input, you scroll through the different keyboards you have installed, and then you select message ease. So getting into it at first, I know what you're going to say, this looks like a Alphabet Rubik's Cube gone horribly wrong, but it's actually a very intuitive way that is currently pat patented in the US um, for typing on the Android and the iPhone and actually Windows systems. What it does is it has the nine most commonly used keys in big bold on the nine squares. So touching these inputs those letters, as you can see. Now, if you want to import input, excuse me, any of the other letters, what you do is for example, if I wanted to put an L, you hold down on N and swipe down, puts in an L. If I wanted to put on Q, hold O and swipe to Q, G, O and swipe to G. Again, you can do this for all the letters around each one. You can smitch it up, go down to your period, go up to your apostrophe, go down to your V, all that kind of stuff. So let's type in our key phrase for these videos, dinner and a movie tonight, and let's see how it handles it. So, again, you'll have to, excuse me, I haven't had a lot of practice with it, but I'll try my best. So, dinner. Dinner, let's see. So, again, you get faster at it as you go along where, where you can recognize where all the keys are. So, we can go to our symbols now, and we can do... Where is our, oh, sorry, excuse me. Go back to our ABC. There, now we can do our question mark. So, dinner and a movie tonight. Again, the auto capitalization isn't always there on this one, so keep that in mind. Um, it also does not have speech to text, so that's another thing that you want to uh, know when going into this. Again, what you saw me do earlier, I can hold down space and swipe up to remove all my special characters and again hold down space and swipe up to bring them into play. So if you want a more basic looking one and you don't really want to see your symbols until you go into your numbers, you can do that. Or you can have the symbols always displayed and then when you have to put in a number, go to your number settings. So that's how you do it for that. Again, backspaces are really easy. Um, and that is the Message Ease keyboard. There are no settings for it currently. Again, it was just released for the Android operating system. It does claim to be the fastest and I would assume once eventually you get to the point of knowing exactly where all the letters are, I mean you could get very fast at this keyboard, especially giving such um, real estate to the nine most used letters. I mean you could just be typing, swiping, and going super fast on this eventually. So that is message ease. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. Like I said, I normally go into advanced settings. And oh, what I can do is I can show you um, what we can do here. There are some shortcuts in that. That's one of the things. Sorry about that. Um, so for capital letters, you can do a circle for the main letters. So for example, if I wanted to do, let's get rid of all this first. And let's bring it a little bit closer. You can kind of see what I'm doing. One second. Okay, so if I wanted to do... Um, like uh, we're going to some place. So let me just type in some letters so we get that off. Now if I want to do a capital O, I do a circle. If I want to do a capital H, I do a circle, capital N, circle. If I wanted to do a capital U, what I do is I click on O first, swipe away, and then swipe back to you. So let's see if I can do that. Oh, so a P. 
Come on now. Oh, sorry, you have to swipe in the direction of that. Would make a lot of sense. Okay, so for example, again, if I wanted to do a capital C, I swipe in the direction of the C, come back to it, swipe in the direction of the D, come back to it, and that's how you do capital letters. So another great feature of the Message Ease keyboard, <clears throat> to capitalize everything, you just swipe R up, and to uncapitalize, you swipe R down. So another great feature. Um, again, there, there is a lot of other kind of shortcuts to this, but I can't go through to all of them, and some of them are kind of complicated, and I think meant more for their desktop application rather than their Android, since you have such limited space to work here. Um, but there are those shortcuts you can check for on the website, and I'm sure they'll probably be released in future versions of this. So again, check out our article on carries.net where we're covering all 12 keyboard um, software for the Android operating system. Uh, check out our YouTube channel, carries.net, and thanks for tuning in.